is normally when you have, so I was trying to visualize it in my mind, so normally when you have your own email box, mm -hmm. right, you come to your own email box, mm -hmm. and then you reply. Mm -hmm. so this is sort of a different scenario where yeah. it's just a distribution yeah. list that's coming in, too. Yeah, let, me, um, let me ask Caroline if we can um, assign. It is not imperative. No, I know, but it, it certainly makes, you don't want to pull out of people you don't know having your email. Your personal email. <coughs> I get that. I mean, this mm -hmm. is a business that you're, you're conducting, and you know, if there's one out there, you should just be able to use it. You know, not it might not be able to do everyone, but I certainly you and um, Kelly at least. Yeah, it's just a thought. It's yeah, I wonder if it was used by um, the director of the camp or something. I thought they had a director. Of the we do. Yeah, okay. So let me ask um, so you want to you want to send me this card to this to say rec. Well, there's an e a rec email address. Right. So when you're replying back, you want to reply back yeah. as, as a recreation, recreation not, not as just her personal email address. Not just my name on it. Yeah. Now, now whatever they're contacting, they're, it's now with me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so oh. I should just say rec. I, I think so. Yeah, I do think so. daughter's in extra innings right now, um, and she hit her first over-the-fence home run. Auto? Sorry. That's okay. There is a song Somebody that comes this? through. I know when Kelly sometimes writes back, it says, Kelly, by a wreck. It doesn't say which email she's using. Yeah. For me, it always says, well, maybe she needs to be talking to you. Well, I think her is yes. set up to say that. Don't um, ask me. But her and I have been back and forth about this. Oh, okay. And her her email address in the distribution is set up as Kelly at Rec or whatever it says. <coughs> Kelly Anderson or KB mm -hmm. Anderson or mm -hmm. that is Kelly at Rec. Hmm. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. And that reminds me, uh, I was trying to get into our Dix account today, so there are two emails that came into the Rec that are trash. Okay. Oh, yes. I just got that. Why would you show trash? Though? You can ditch them. I couldn't get on, but I was trying. So we haven't gotten too far. We just talked about meeting minutes, which we don't have anything right now to approve. We're going to table that. And I asked. I just but they didn't meet. Not everybody with them. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I went. You and David and I. I was ready to just say go. <laughs> and I randomly asked a question about the email box. And so now. Okay. Do you want to talk about staffing? Oh, sure. Um, <laughs> can we can we do that on film, or should we be talking about people's names that we're talking about, or director assistants? I mean, does that that matter? would be non-public? Okay. Right. About people's names, yeah. individuals. Can I say just like how's it going? <laughs> individuals and what you need. And uh, actually, Denise, welcome. I hope you're feeling better. Um, so. Um, let me let me first go on to say, um, and I had texted you about returning counselors, mm -hmm. right? So that email went out, mm -hmm. and I wanted to confirm that with you because right now I can tell all of you, I have only received two applications from returning staff. Um, I don't know if people. What, when did you give? What was the date, D? Did you say the end of? April? Not exactly. Um, so this is only like a couple days after our last meeting. So do you think you gave them till the end of April? Is oh, that I did. Okay. Oh, yeah, I for sure did. Yeah, I sent it out a couple days after our last meeting. Yeah. Okay. And I told you the other day I sent out a follow-up, and I honestly didn't do that. Okay. So so right now, um, yeah, we, we only have those two. We have gotten more applications for counselors, so I'm not that concern, but um, the concern could be right now that if, and I've reached out to a couple saying um, we're still staffing and if you can hold on for, you know, another week, um, you know, the only concern is that they get another job if they're waiting. So, um, 
I don't know. Well, we don't have a director. I mean, was it so? That's what I'm working on. The so director, assistant director didn't position. Did we they have the to do the counseling? Well, that's counseling? what we want. That's oh, how okay. the sequence we wanted to okay. be doing. Yeah. But I think last year, didn't we end up hiring counselors? <laughs> yes. Before, what was said last year about? I don't know if we did because we had returning st we had returners that were our director, or assistant director. So I don't know if they ended up hiring anybody. I, I think just looked at that about today. specific kids. Yes. Uh, staffing. She said that the select board would like to hire um, the directors, the, directors right. the top three positions, the directors the, and the assistant director, and then I think she would, said they would take recommendations um, from the um, um, they would take recommendations from um, is a step four wants to hire the director and the assistant director and the team director with recommendations yeah. from the committee. Yeah. Um, so and Denise, you weren't here so when we were doing some of that too. We hire counselors, so it doesn't really matter. Is that just okay that someone should be hired? I mean, yeah, we would like to have a director, mm -hmm. but I just assume. Well, like, do we? I mean, I think what we wanted to do was have them pick their own okay. staff. But so mm -hmm. applicants, <laughs> and I, clarification given that the select board will hire camp or all the director, team camp director, and camp assistant. Discussion on having new candidates happen, and um, just um, yeah, and that the once those were hired, I thought it was up to one committee member and whoever was. Uh -huh. They're superior to hire them, so it was a joint decision. No, I think you're right, but I think my my concern would be holding people off, holding counselors off. If we still think they're a good, if we think they're a good fit, especially if we have returning ones that were well liked, well respected, you know that they. I don't see a reason why we cannot bring them back. How do you feel about that? Um, well, I, yeah, we might have to table. We, we might do have to go into if we're going to talk about one of the returners. Okay. Yeah. Um, what I what I would like to do is to figure out. So I've interviewed two people already this week. So I've hired. Uh, I I. I um, interviewed two people on Monday. One was a potential team camp. I'm very hesitant about that person. One, just because they live in Danvers. And, and uh, I mean, Mass. Mass. Oh, yeah. yeah that's and, and I was like, are you sure that this would work? And so, but um, I, I also gave a massage to somebody today that is who I think our team director is. Right? So I, I talked to her about it. So I think that's all going to take place. But the the director position, I would like for, um, I have, so I had one interesting conversation, and I, you know, I, I kind of said my two cents, but this woman, um, did I, has anybody ever looked at all the, at half of them, or some I've of been them? Them. There's, there's, not all of them? There's a lot, right? So this, this woman I called, because I actually, I know her, she um, was the director of the works, and and would be a fantastic person to hire. So I called her. Would you like to go into more public? Um, no, it's, not, it's fine. But but the the problem with her was that she watches her granddaughter Mondays to Fridays, and so her yeah her availability would be Tuesday to Thursday. Oh. So for what you mean? No, this is her. Is the rec? Yeah. So I I said I don't. As much as I would love for you to be a part of this, I don't believe that that will work. But I just want, I didn't want to speak for everybody, but. <laughs> what about the, um, the one we interviewed at um, um, Burlington Academy? Is that her? Um, no, that's it. Oh, oh yeah, I can talk to you about her. I love her.
loved her. <laughs> loved, loved, past tense. loved oh, her. <laughs> we, yeah, with her, I don't even know if I have her resume, but it doesn't really matter. She, she would have been fantastic. Um, maybe I've done more than two interviews. Um, I did, I interviewed her last week. She works for PA, a counseling physician, and, um, I, I walked into the meeting trying to, um, my objective was to convince her to be our director, was my, um, and she was kind of hesitant about that, but then, then I said, well, so then she, she did interview for the day <coughs> camp director, and then we found a, like three or four days that she has conflicts with, so she actually pulled her application. She's like, I just don't see how I can do that. So she's no longer on the table. Well, that's a bummer. Because she would have been great. So I did, I, I did, I wish I'd done three interviews. So um, we had somebody that was great that I would put her in any capacity whatsoever and um, help us. So she's only available Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. She's been working in a different capacity over the last 10, like after she left the work, she's been, so she didn't put that on there. Um, what was it? What was that? Oh. Um, but I interviewed somebody fantastic from BA that is, is even not, just going to not work for, or I was ready to hire her for anything. Um, or it's yoga, like, anyway. So, she's, so she was going to miss two days out of one week because of a um, conflict with her job. She had some week-long training that she had to go to, and then she found another date, so she actually pulled her application. But I have another, um, I'm meeting somebody on, on I, I interviewed this person. Did you, do you recognize that one? She's great. Um, okay, I'm set... I, and I, so here's, so here's the sequence of events, right? She's great, great assistant director, which is what she applied for. She has a degree in rec management. Um, I was almost thinking, could she be, you know, and I'm hesitant about putting her in that. She said she would be willing to try it. And then to wait for director role? Uh-huh. So... <laughs> I'm not sure that she is ready. And just talking to her, I'm not sure that she's So ready. this is not one that came via Indeed? I believe it is. Because she's got an application. I think some, some people did the applications and then scanned them too. I don't know. I don't know if it was or it wasn't. But she she's great personality-wise, everything. Um, so I guess what... So what, what we need to do is, if I send somebody forward, what is our next plan? Like, Denise, do you, is there second interviewing people that we want did, before? Did Caroline mm -hmm. say that we, the board would be interviewing as well? Or um, just maybe the hiring? She, hiring based on recommendation, right? So my thought is a second interview for for next, some people would, would be the next step. Like, you know, let me send you guys, like, Because we certainly could do yeah. uh, an interview if you wanted, like, a second opinion. Yeah. Um, I, I think it doesn't even have to be the whole board. It could be, you know, Caroline and one of us or yeah. whoever, you yeah. know. Um, if, if you feel that it, you would be more comfortable having a second opinion. I, th I, I think so. Could, and I think, yeah, you know, Sydney... Director. For the director role, or both? I'm talking about for both. <coughs> okay. I think, and I, and I think for for this person, um, kind of curious what you guys think. You know, my my opinion was she could be that director, but I what was. What do you think of missing? Um, like it was, what was your gut feeling? On that? It was. Um, Confidence in that a young person has. Did you call her references? I didn't. Possibly maybe that can give you a little reassurance as well, yeah. depending on who they are or how, you know, how they... Yeah. 
Yeah, but they got on her reference book, you know. Yeah. Um, um, without looking at it, it's, what about her background? She's she got a degree from UNH in risk management. And she works. Yeah, and then she's been working this past year student teaching at Barrington, I believe, or, or something. I do remember Caroline saying whenever we brought forth our candidates that it would be nice if they could come to a Monday night meeting and then maybe meet the board. This is the candidate we'd like to bring forth if they were available to present. Do a public meeting like that? I don't know. I don't like that. I think we could probably bring them forward. Yeah. Maybe we can make another night to have, you know, not as formal of a interview but you know ask the three questions that they may have and yeah. and get a feel for yeah. it. So I mean uh, so here's here so here's our other what I think he applied for assistant director. I think his resume speaks for being a director and I emailed him that today and I mm -hmm. said I'd like to interview for the director position. Mm -hmm. He got right back to me. So this is a guy he's working on his master's degree been a basketball coach. He's an, um, I saw his yeah. interview. His yeah. come through. So I'm gonna I'm gonna um, set up an interview with him for Monday. I can't do it. He was like, I'll come tomorrow if you want me to. Um, and I know somebody also at VA. So um, place in a phone call mm. and do that for sure. She might be a good assistant. Yeah, and she's she's wonderful in person, so I absolutely would be a hundred percent willing to give her the assistant job. That that she's a lovely young lady. <laughs> so clearly they're doing it because this one is a teacher. They're yeah. doing it because they have the summers off. Right. Okay. So it's right. like a win-win kind of thing. Yeah. 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 So he's he's good. I mean, he's got all he's yeah. got all of it there too. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and I, I am, coaching I'm also stuff. interviewing another guy on Tuesday who also applied for the assistant position. We've had a ton of people apply for the assistant position. That. So then I was kind of wondering, you know, if, if the young person who I think might be able to take that role if we hired somebody, you know, that was, you saw that one? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember them all? I got so confused after a while. I'm like, oh my gosh. I mean, it's great. I them all, and then I just start putting the files. Yeah. I put all of them alone, them. so if you ever want me to pull it, okay. or send it to the board. But so I'm interviewing him on Tuesday. Um, and that was more to give me some competition, you know, like with the, the other, because I think, I think he's a young person, too. Kelly, did you say you met with this one? I haven't yet. The only thing I'm worried about is that, yeah, he's he's got like the athletic background, but does he have um, the background to organize a whole um, camp? Yeah, doesn't he have like to teach? He's a teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a middle school teacher. And basketball, that's what you need to organize that other yeah. thing, right? He was the one I was thinking that you had already interviewed. Um, what she said you had interviewed and somebody if at the end. She has that part of it down. Mm. She would be an asset. Right. That and that's kind of what I was thinking. So it might just depend on how they go with the interview, you know. You would be interesting. But I like your idea of having a second interview and having Mm -hmm. If you're concerned at all, having a second interview, having somebody else sitting on it. Well, I'm not concerned. I, I personally would rather not be there. I think they would. I think it would be beneficial to have one or two other people to do it. You know. I'm saying I'd go back. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to my place. Yeah. Because um, there might be there might be like even if so this other who's I don't know who that. Um, Denise has his, like I'm interviewing him on Tuesday and, you know, um, if there's kind of, they seem similar to, um, you know, being equally as good for the job, you know, to have somebody else interview them and see what they think. So he's a somebody's assistant director. 
He's been assistant. I mean, so have you been getting a lot for the director position or just no? It seems like almost everyone has been assistant director. So I'm not sure why people are stepping back from that. Do you think it's the age? Do you wonder? I don't know. Like this one, I'm wondering if it's the age. Of um, him or of the campers? Uh, no, I mean, um, did we... Of the we, applicants. Yeah, because we put uh, age ranges, right? And then we, for the director, they'd be 21. Right. Above. So I'm wondering, well, this, he's they, still... Yeah, I think... Um, he's still a men's rugby team in your age. So I'm wondering if he's, he's maybe not quite 21. This one, this one, I would say, is over 30, this guy. Yeah. He did his um, bachelor's in 2013. So we figure he's probably 22 at that time, right? So maybe six years. <coughs> maybe <coughs> so this guy's done uh, recreational programs like for three that. years now. Yeah, this one's for the assistants. Oh, no, that's next one. Thank you. That's it, Mike, though. When you're doing the interview. Three years for three years in the recreation. Right. So that's pretty good. Right. But when you do the interviews, you might kind of keep your mind open to say director or assistant. Right. And see, because you might be very surprised when you have an interview with somebody that they definitely could qualify for being a director. And right. maybe during it, would you consider if the position well, is still open to, to be I did director? ask her this. Yeah. And I said, would you be willing to mm -hmm. to be the director if you think you could handle it? Mm -hmm. and, and she said, yes, I would be willing. I would be willing to step into that. And it and, um, So that's the, um, so I did have a, a, a girl, for, and you might know her, from Rollinsford for a counselor's position. Yes, she's done rec before. Oh, okay. She did not do it last year. Oh, it's, my, it's had to have been two years well, since we've done it, right? I know she didn't do it last year. Yeah, because um, I don't know her. Because so. I ran into her, she was waiting tables on the farm. <laughs> Yeah, she has Ronald Trigg Rep, 2014 yeah. to 2016. Okay. Um, what is your I, I believe she is going to school for teaching. Yeah. And she had said she wanted to get back into it. She In school, she was great. Okay. And, and from coming through to get kids for the summer program, <coughs> she was very personable. I mean, she knew me. Yeah. Been in her classroom. Um, she was one of the kids in that group of kids that started the um, skip the game. Oh. This whole book is like Halloween. Yeah. Or something. It's probably in here somewhere. <laughs> but she was right outside of the uh -huh. cutoff gate. She's a very smart girl. Very nice girl. Oh, okay. She's in, she has the bottom of my street, but she's in this one. Yeah. See if you know her. Um, so she actually texted, or it must have emailed. She emailed me the other day and just said, "Hey, do you have my stuff? And uh, is there anything else you need?" <laughs> type of thing. So I'm like, okay. So I think she needs. She's like one of the ones that would like to know, like, can I? I love she's changed grass. Do I have a job? And she did volleyball uh, in Summersworth, and oh, okay. You know, she was involved in. I just didn't move forward with that one. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And your returner, the other returner, um, what did she apply for? Well, that's why I was kind of curious to see her application. It just was for camp counselor. Okay. 
Yeah. I was surprised by that. Yeah, yeah. But maybe, maybe well, you know what, also, I don't know if we had it posted, was that she wants a week off in, in the, during the summer. So that might be her reasoning for not going for an assistant director position. Because it was the director and assistant director does not have anything. Right. right. But was, yeah. that, was that announced, though? Yeah, I think, I think it was. It on was it on there? Was it on? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. The counselors weren't, though. Right. Yeah. 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 Well, did you already say we're swapping. I'll yeah. see that one and trade you this one. But the other, you know, and D and I, we go around, we yeah, go around and around, around about that one. <laughs> yes. Around. I, I, pre I thought yeah. Good. Yep. I'm, I, you know, I kind of side on, I side on. I, A lot of kids like him. I know. Yeah. So I'm, I'm more inclined to hire him. No. We'll talk about it in the public. Okay. <laughs> so I'd move on this one too. Mm -hmm. That one? Yeah. I mm -hmm. She is. Right? Mm -hmm. No. So she's in college. She graduated last year. She's, she might yeah, be a yeah, sophomore yeah. in college this year. Must have been when I was in Amy Jean the other year. Right? I think she's... I think it's she's, just she's, she graduated 2017. So, yeah. So, so she's, she's a, I think she's a sophomore. Yeah. yeah. And she's doing early childhood education. Yeah. She's in high school. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't see that, did no, you? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So that's all. So that's all I have. So I if... With either of those so if we're doing this... You were the one that sent out, didn't you send out um, offer letters? No, no, that was Jody. Jody did that. Oh. I had the template that I gave Jody. So who is doing that this year? Is that me? Are you staffing? <laughs> <laughs> well, Jody did it at no. the ex Did she do it as the ex officio, or is it when she was out, not no longer the she ex officio? Was, she just did it as part of being on the staffing. Oh, okay. Well, I would say partly as the ex officio because the board needs to know who we're hiring and keep track of wages yeah. and all of that. Um, I can do the offer letters in conjunction with Caroline. Okay. Make sure that they're done correctly and and um, make sure we have all the required information. Right. So we'll want to look at the offer letter from last year yeah. and then just kind of update it and see. Do we have one? Yeah, we do. Have an electronic okay. one. I will continue. So, the, so here's the question. So, this this Denise, mm -hmm. the um, the one person who I I like that we should get on board. If, um, so, should should I have her contact you, or you contact her for a second interview with that? <coughs> yep, we can do that. So this is this is. <laughs> so she applied for the assistant position, and I said, "Would you be, you know, willing to be either?" Would you do so, me a favor? And I said, "Yes." Um, <laughs> what's um? Can you send me an email of the ones that are not making the cut so that we can take them, like, ditch their resume? Or put them Let's do that until we're all said and done. Well, yeah. I was you never know. Just keep them in there. Just yeah. keep them all yeah, in there. Exactly. Yeah. I, just I was just going to say, we could pull out the ones that she knows are moving forward and put them in a separate folder, too. Oh, oh they could do that. that. I'll put them on the top. Answer it. I've actually reached out to a, a number of them about interviews. I don't know 
how, what would you feel? So I actually reached out to somebody and said, please let me know when you can come to Longstreet at your earliest convenience for an interview. And then they responded back something like, I would love to talk to you about the job. And they left me their phone number. <laughs> so I'm like, don't get it. Hmm. <laughs> Off the list. <laughs> Not following directions. Right, right. That was, that was actually a director position. Oh, so, God. Yeah. So besides that, so you oh, have interviewed this person. Yes. Do you want to be part of the interview that that someone that the board or Caroline or someone or do you? I don't. I don't feel that I need to. Okay. Like I, I feel pretty confident about her. So. Um, and this is the which position? It. She applied for the assistant position. Okay. I'm not writing on that. And actually, there's yeah. a there's the last two pages are her application through Hollingsford too. Mm -hmm. But I think she circled okay. that, right? Yes, she did. Okay, so. But she was the one that you said was willing to step up for an interview. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you guys can feel like... And then that, I, yeah, I would actually rather have a second opinion regarding that. Like, I, honestly, my first opinion is let's hire her. And, okay. But, but the, my only hesitant would be to hire her in the director role. Temporarily? Yes. All right. Can I keep this? Yes. All right. That's all. That's all I got. So what's next mean? on the agenda? Do you well, so oh. I'm a little concerned. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. That have you interviewed any for teen? Um, I did. I did hire the one for teen that lived in Danvers. The hire interviewed. You hired the Danvers. No, no I. I'm uh, sorry. I interviewed her. Oh, sorry. Okay. You said that before too. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I've been outside for two hours. What so. <laughs> and didn't you say you interviewed somebody else for teen that was moving me? Yes. Because mm -hmm. they had to have a couple of days off? Um, yeah. Days off it day. worked out to be like three or four. And it would have been one whole week when she was doing some right. things for her job. <coughs> she was fantastic. I was trying to get her to go. Kind of I know. I was trying to get, I would have I would have recommended her for the director position for the whole camp. Yeah. She's like the um But she didn't want to work the whole week. Yeah. Okay. That was a bit much for her. Mm -hmm. So then she was a, she was good with the teen camp and then we started talking about kind of dates and and yeah, and then she had this one week and I said, Well that should be okay and then she kinda of came she actually sent me a, an email later on and said I really need to withdraw my application because, but. Three bad days. Yeah, she was great. Mm, okay. In person too. So no, on paper and in person. Are there <laughs> ones that you have that you've not been you've not reached out to people yet, or have you been through all of the ones you've gotten in? Sifted through. I feel like I've sifted through and kind of picked, you know, and then I, you know, and then I've sent out, you know. I'm, are you willing to come to Longstreet for an interview? And there's some people I didn't even get a response from. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we'll we don't have any more of them. No. So. I got it today, though, right away. Today. So over the weekend, I'll do a second um, email. I should be able to do it probably Sunday. A second email out. Okay. Or tonight if I can. Teen camp does not have any conflicts. They're not just, right now. We need because I'm wondering if the one you have that is me returning, if he would be better as a teen person uh -oh. than a little kid person. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, we'll have to talk what about, about age. That. The concern was is that there'd be a difference in age. Well, I don't know. In college, he'll be right. a sophomore. Mm -hmm. I would be good with it. But we don't have a counselor for teen. Yeah, unless we have unless we have a, a um, large number of kids. Yeah, unless up. we hit tw like fifteen, I think, or twelve to fifteen kids. What are our enrollment uh, numbers now as far as <coughs> female and female? Thirty two to like all of Camp Rowan. Thirty two for Camp Rowan? Yeah. Yeah, it's 
it's a little bit lower than it was last year, but the last two months it was just it was crazy. Got crazy registrations. I'm not but surprised. What do we have? Fifteen. Nothing yet. Nothing. But I do have to tell you that people in my class are saying that's what they're doing. Yeah. So. Well, I think a lot, a lot of the times people have a, don't want to pay for something that far in advance. I see that. that. I'm yeah. like, I got yeah. June 10th. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've been talking I to, on the playground, and I know two or three more families June 10th. are yes. registering. They just haven't done it yet. Because mm -hmm. I remember this time last year, we were saying, all talking to each other, because like, you got how many kids? You've got how many kids? I've got how many kids? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many have you heard about? I, mean, I do have to say that they do have a good, good reception. It was a response. So I, I think I, I have a new with great team council, a uh, team director. So, mm -hmm. I mean, so I saw her today. So she's going to do her application and things like that. Okay. You're not concerned about that? You can no. Don't about well, and I told her that. I was like, well, we haven't actually seen people sign up yet, but so I'm not that worried. Dee that. did ask me in the last 10 days or so, week or so, to forward her the team camp schedule. Did you get it? I sent it out on Monday. Mm -hmm. So we could blast it again on Facebook mm -hmm. for the camp um, and put it out there. My question to you is you said a couple months ago you were going to do a half-page flyer <laughs> so we can get it to the schools and get it out to Summersworth, Dover, Rollinsburg, and send it home with the kids again. How are we looking on that? Do we want... No, we can cut all out of... <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, but I think last meeting I said that maybe I should just run off another another flyer, like another one of these. I could run off a bunch of copies and drop those off at, because at this point it would be a lot easier for me. And drop them off at the school again, you need to go home, right? Yeah, but I mean, if I have some, I have one of those at home still, so I could, I mean, I'd put a bunch of them out, but they'd yeah. come down because it says registration opens March 8th. Yep. Yeah. So if we take off the registration opens part and yep. put in registration is open, and do the opens March 8th, um, or register now, then um, that is a neat thing to look at this. That could be a second half flyer anyways, mm -hmm. right? So, I mean, I can still do a half, I can still do half flyers or we can just send the whole thing home because we've got kids who are, you know, Siblings that are older, or my, but we had talked too about maybe taking it to D and D printing mm -hmm. to get, um, because it would be easier than printing them all here. Yeah. Well, it's, it's costly. I have resources to do this anyways if you want. Okay, work. so I can do that. But again, it's and the time. I asked to get into that the phone box, and he was more comfortable doing the email for us than the phone box. Okay. First of all, it could be too many phone blocks because it looks a sin anyway. Um, and he 
felt like, I think, if I'm remembering this correctly, that it's not the school. So so it's not by the school. Yeah, so, so it's, it's kind, of of that, kind of that gray line there. But he said he would definitely put it in his email mm -hmm. that he sends out every month. Mm -hmm. Because that's, again, something that we have a right to. I would make it simple and just need to what you already have drawn up and not worry about filling in half sheet of something. Make, no, it, um, make it simple for you. Yeah, I can. I might even have. I will go to the SAU office with it and find out how many many you need for the summer school. Last year it was mechanical between the two elementary schools and summer school. I mean, you just have to you have to weigh out your expense mm -hmm. if you're going to pay for your printing, including your time and your time. You know, yeah. if, if it's worth it. Yeah. Do they not have a um, website that it could be put on instead of having it to help their child? Their response to me when they the the essay it has to be approved by the superintendent, and then when it comes. Um, then he okays it, and then it goes to the different um, schools. Mm -hmm. But only 40% of the kids, or less, get email. And that's why they prefer copies, because then you get many more. And if you put it to go home in their bags, every child gets one, and it goes. And yeah, it makes it out of It makes it out of the building, but... You don't, know. you don't know what makes it home, and you don't know, like, of the 40% that are getting it by email, how many of them have siblings that they only send to one child. Right. So it could be a higher number of getting it by email, just that they're not counting them because they're siblings. I have a fun fact, if you guys want to know. So I just looked at last year's registrations, and this time last year we had 23 registrations. Oh. Yeah, it's your person number. I love how you're so um, together. <laughs> I do. I appreciate that about you. I know you. I spent my weekends trying to you know, assess my portfolio. I have to share it. Okay. I have it. So what I was just, what's next on the agenda? All right. So we did staffing, um, registration update. I don't have a, a pretty. Um, Things to give you like I've been giving you. So the 32. Um, so marketing, we sort of just talked about that, right? Like the flyers. Um, budget, I don't have anything to talk about unless anybody spent any money I need to know about. My question, I was looking through the notes. Have we submitted for the park pass yet? Are we going to buy the park pass? Um, <laughs> refresh my memory. What were we going to do about that? Well, the board is authorized. And increase Caroline's credit so it can go on her credit card so she has to pay it up front. Oh. I the think, town credit card. Um, right. Yeah. So we don't, because we can't really give it to a non employee <coughs> or a temporary employee. So we kind of really not have our credit cards go out to, Do unless they're full time employees. So. Could you tell me what the, the um, max is on that? Just. Well. Or. Right now, she can do 200, and then we've authorized another 200. So that would be per charge. Right. So was it higher than that? I was just, uh, uh, one of them was over 400. I'm trying to remember what it was last year. Was it? It might have been Candy Lake. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. But the state parks it. weren't that high, right? Is, oh, that, no, 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 no. is that what you're talking about? Right, and we can buy a state park pass, and she just has to send a cut of check. Yeah, that's what we have. Yep, yep. And, it, and if you can, if you have enough time, and will Canopy take a check? If they'll take a check, then that's even better. But if they won't, because some people don't take a check, 
Well, what we, wanna... I, I believe what I did with Canopy last year was we got coupons and then walked to the, you know, you had to buy them at the gate with the coupon. Yeah. We had, like, you know. So that's why it went on your credit yes. card or somebody's credit yes. card. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But we're trying not to have you guys use your personal credit cards. Right. <coughs> so we did authorize her to purchase on your behalf. Okay. Um, what is the total up to amount? The next month? Well, it's at least four, but it's negotiable. Okay. So. So the park houses, were all these park houses coming out of um, this dollar this year? No, it was our budget. You split it. And is it, we weren't buying the whole year pass. We were buying just a few. Last year we right? bought 15. And that ended up being too many. We had some left over. We bought 10 right. for Camp Raleigh mm -hmm. and 5 for um, Team Camp. So were we going to buy 10? That was the it was 10. Um, so what? Explain to me what it is then, because that doesn't make sense to me. So the state offers a bus pass. They're yeah. bus passes. So oh, oh, a bus pass, not a person pass. No, no, no. no. Oh, so, so a bus load of people? Right. The, oh, got it. Okay. And so you sense. can buy right. five bus loads of yep. people okay. to go in, and then you plan your dates yep. ahead of time, and you call the... And it's a copy of time. It only mm -hmm. takes so many buses. Right. Yeah, okay. And so last year we did, like we said... We did 15 total, so we could split them, mm -hmm. and then... Did they expire? They're only yeah. good for one season. One so season. they're only okay. good for 2019. They're very okay. inexpensive. They're like $200 yeah. and something dollars okay. for the 10. But the question is, if we send people, if we send team camp... So last year, we all ended up going to the state park together, so mm -hmm. that's why we didn't use those. But if we send two buses, this year, each trip, then we'll need those. You need two buses as in the two different groups? Or or if we have 100 people going, you got to have two buses. Right. Right? Because mm -hmm. that was our issue last year, is mm -hmm. that we didn't have enough buses. Right. So your schedule has all been determined, right? About where you're going to go on your Pretty farm, much. what you're going to do, right? Yeah. So how many, how many state parks have you put into the schedule for both? So I think we, we doubled up quite a bit. So, so, so we're talking up again, but the other thing that we've discussed is with the, the gym is going to be out of commission at some point, yep. because they're redoing the gym yep. floor, and, 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 and no, we don't know when. He, once and, it's done, though, you no. can't go on it at all. Right, and, okay. they talk to. Yeah. and then the other thing was, is that when, if there is a day that, one year, was it last year, the water main break, yeah, or the water pressure, nice. so they stayed there, but there there have been times where an emergency happens and there's no water. I think that was two years ago. Uh, there, was, there was one each yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. They did flushing up the hydrants last year and they lost, lost water pressure. Oh, okay. So, um, so to answer your question, we have four buses scheduled for state parks. So that with you, team, with the teams, but as Kelly pointed out, it depends what your numbers are. Mm -hmm. they go to two or, or eight. Mm -hmm. And then, or if, go more. or if team goes on a day that they don't go, and then if there's a day where we have an emergency, they like they know ahead of time they're not gonna have water, they can call the bus company and get the bus and go to a park, or if you can go to the pool maybe. Yeah. So right. I mean, then then they're not gonna have the expense of the um, pass, right? Well, the pass you can either get them in groups of five or groups of ten. So it makes more sense to get, to get 10 and then have a couple extras if you need them mm -hmm. than it is to get. Did we lose any? Did we not use any last year? We bought 15 last year and we did have a couple extra. But when we bought them, team was going to different locations than Camp Raleigh. Like team was going to um, some of the seacoast. Um, beaches like mm -hmm. Hampton or mm -hmm. Wallace Sands, and I think there is one day that Odeon, I think, was one. Yeah, I, we're going to Odeon with them. Mm -hmm. But the other thing is, is that team also went to York Beach, which is an ocean. The younger kids don't go to the ocean because there's a lot of fear about it being so large and going Can out. Can you show us sand? 
the same show standards to this one too? There was a lot of concern a couple of years ago about oh, kids yeah. going to the ocean. Okay. So it's only lakes and ponds that okay. the younger kids go to. So like the older kids will go to short sands and they throw them on them. Yeah. <laughs> so the team goes there. So that's always an option for teams. Really We've run out of bus passes. Mm -hmm. Going to a state park, and they could go to some once a week. Okay. All right. That was a cool trip. Yeah. I do have a good place. I got a pickleball court now. Pickleball, basketball, badminton, pool. Field trip to my house. So Julie, okay, so have we decided then, just to back up, are we going to do it by um, credit card or are we going to do it by purchase order? That's usually a check. We've usually done that with a check. I'll do that. Right, because then you can just send it off to I'll the take. State. I'll take on that role. Yeah, purchase orders are but primary so goal, but when you can't do that, then you can see from my purchase Put me out for a task. I got that. I'll fill mm -hmm. out the right. form. And that's for the state task, yeah. right? And how many are we getting? Uh, that one. Ten. Yeah, ten. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. All right, I'm on it. Is there right. a date that had to happen by? Like, if it got to be the end of June and we knew that the gym was going to be done or something, could you buy five more? I don't know. It's a good question. Let me ask that question. I bet you can. I bet you can, too. Mm -hmm. But you would probably would need to do it in a, a really speedy fashion, which is you may have to leverage maybe a credit card to get it done with a late form immediately. Mm -hmm. Or the kind of care programming. Um, about, um, oh. Well, I have a crossover between programming and care. Sure. Um, so the Wentworth House got approved. I'm sure you guys all saw that in the ARIA. Mm -hmm. And I now. So pretty. This is what we submitted last year for our grants. Um, these are some of the programs that REF has, or some of the programs the Wetland House has. They run 45 to 50 minutes. They're for kids 8 to 14. And one is building the Wetworth House. So it's like a jigsaw puzzle of building it. Uh, and there's one, Dearest Mother, um, how do people communicate over long distances prior to electronics. Um, there's one about it didn't print off the top of the page about fun. What did children do for fun prior to um, electronics? What shall I wear? Using reproduction 18th century clothes to find out what New Englanders wore and what their clothing tells about their lives. Fight for freedom, meet an American Revolution soldier that will demonstrate clothing, weapons, and equipment and describe life in the Army. Textile Arts, an introduction to spinning, weaving, and or fabric printing. And a village walking tour. Take a village walking tour. It's usually suitable for older kids and takes 60 to 75 minutes. So, um... Are you limited to one then? No. Um, the, we, they usually run three, two or three groups at a time. Mm -hmm. And they have a max of 60 kids. Mm -hmm. And so it's $150 for every 20 kids, plus their chaperone. Mm -hmm. So we have it max. The money we received matches their max number mm -hmm. of 60 kids on the grounds at one time for $450. Mm -hmm. For three different things, is that what you're saying? Yes. It's what my impression is. So is, that, activities. so is that like a three hour sort of thing? I'm trying to just picture a difficult night. I think they, yes, I believe they run, it would be a couple of hours. They would run, each group would rotate through a section. Okay. What does it say? Well, so if you're going to have three sections, each child is going to participate in all three sections, or are you going to have a group that's going to be doing one, but not the other two. How does that work? When we did it in 2017, mm -hmm. they set up the workshops so that they were in three. They actually did four locations. 
They did outside games. Mm -hmm. They did making butter in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. They did building the house in one of the downstairs front rooms. And then they did the um, textile mm -hmm. printing in the other room, mm -hmm. on the other side. And the kids rotated through and group. That's good. And so they would like to know what programs we would like to do. And they're going to start gathering materials mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And they would like to know a day that works for us. And I'm guessing a Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday would be preferable since those are not field trip dates. Except for the field trip to the Can I speak for a moment, please? Tuesday, yeah. Wednesday, or Thursday, is that? Yeah. Is this in the afternoon? That's what we need to determine. We need to give them a time frame that works. Because otherwise it's going to be confusing. Okay. I think it's the weekend. Oh, there's a special one today. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And when does that end, Lori? Typically. I want to talk on my calendar. Not for a date, um, no, time-wise. It's like the first week in August. But, but does it go During the day. 9 to... We're done by 12. You're That's done by 12. Okay. So we did an afternoon, like on a Wednesday. Maybe that. I mean, after kind of lunch, do you go 1 to 4? Yeah. Um, I guess we'd have to walk <laughs> back before 4. Okay. <laughs> or you can do lunch early in the day or something. But um, if we follow this like we wanted to last year, uh, two years ago, <laughs> and it would be probably a Wednesday because we already have Wednesdays blocked off for fun events like that. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, um, so is there a week that is preferable um, or not? Or just say pick a Wednesday afternoon? I would one? say if you can do it, I would do it in August when you know that the church might not have a gym. Okay. And that will actually give them more time to get their go ready. And we, um, so. I agree that I think it meets the um, requirements of REF of the circle box. Okay. Oh, thank you. Um, kind of is the best fit for us. It doesn't mean we wouldn't do the others as well, but right. those are kind of the best fit for arts. And then, you know, you can start doing the building and doing the textile, the weaving and stuff. That's yeah. all. And I think Mrs. Cook, her husband's affiliated mm -hmm. with them, so I think she was, Trevor copied on the email from mm -hmm. their end to help okay. plan and cover yeah. some of that. That's yeah, kind of what does that in our option. Yeah. Okay. And even making butter is an, is a culinary art. Yeah. So, um, but those are the three that I would think that would best fit our meet our round. So, what was next on your agenda, Dean? Just one more thing, I say, but okay. we'll pay them directly. Yes. So um, they, she, they just need to send me an invoice, and I'll send it to it. And I don't; it doesn't have to happen. I can pay it up front as long as we all know that it's going to happen. You know, I can. Okay. It, they don't have to. Well, that wait was, thirty days after it happens. I mean, I'll pay it right away. She said. Um, that was one of my things is, do you want to filter it through us or do you want uh, us to step out? And she said, please forward REF their information. Okay, I, I'll, I'll send you your email and tell her what my requirements are and uh, we'll take care of it from there. And I just said, um, if we could get a copy of their invoice to put in our file for REC. I can make you a copy. Yeah, that'd be fine. Yep. And if you need requirements for pictures and stuff. Whatever you can do for pictures, but we'd love to have that because that helps us um, advertise our yeah. So if there and but to make sure we get all signs sealed that they can have their photos taken. That's all. Yeah. Because it would be part of advertising. We did that right, Dee is that is that on your new <coughs> rebuilt registration? What's that? Mm -hmm. The picture. That you're allowed to take a picture and I think last year we only had like one or two, right? People that said no. Yeah. And we, I, I don't think, I think that was one of the meetings you missed. We discussed how last year the grants that came in, we did not get pictures because they were never posted. Although we were told they were taken, we've never seen the pictures that the directors took. Mm -hmm. So we 
we talk to be better to, about that. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, we talk about how we need to really impress upon the directors the requirements who are grants that we're getting and making sure that they are fulfilling those requirements too. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> so, what's next? Um, um, any fundraising, scholarship donations? Anything coming for those? Okay. Scholarships. <laughs> so yeah, um, last time we met, um, David asked if we had a short letter that he could send off with emails and stuff. Uh, don't worry about it. The, the rec committee, or the, not the rec committee, the PTO is doing a fundraiser too. And so the PTO president sent me a form letter that I just um, perfect um, <laughs> formatted to us. So it's for you. Um, it is. Am I, am I reading it? You can. Do you want me to read it out loud? <laughs> no. But if we can okay this letter, or... Uh, then I don't know, Denise, does it need to go before the select board? I don't I have to read it. I don't know. Okay. What is it? Is it just going to be something yeah. that I'm used to? It. <laughs> Would you like to give us some money? <laughs> <laughs> and how is that different than the, the donation sheet that we have? Does that yeah. go with it? Is yeah. That the cover letter. Okay. That's the cover letter for the donation sheet. Um, right. And it does refer back to the donation sheet. Please see what the donation sheet is. And there are a couple of gaps in there. There's a gap on the top and a gap in the last paragraph where our email address would be my printer ran out of colored ink. So <laughs> it didn't print anything in those gaps. And um, are you sending this only to businesses? It would go to whoever. Well, it says your business. That's why I'm asking. I didn't know. Well, we could change that to something else if you'd like. And you would you would have a banner made with all the names on it? That is what we've been discussing because that's what C and J would like for advertising. Have we talked with C and J since the last time we met? I am working on getting the I pulled up their email from last year and I was working on getting their um, emblem on a banner to show them what it would look like. Yep. Uh, what? It says, oh, you provide a donation letter with the PTO's tax exempt ID <laughs> number for your record. You don't have a tax ID number. We use the town's tax ID, ID number. Okay. So take off the PTO part. Yeah, it's saying tax ID number. Um, let me just, just because it sounds like we're, at, we're writing to you today to request a donation for our summer. You can ch make that change. To okay. um, Where is Dan? Dan maybe maybe you. I don't know. No, Dan left us. <laughs> Dan is dead to us. <laughs> sure. And there is one line in there that's in parentheses because some people are repeat donors. Mm -hmm. So it's like, last year you donated this. Mm -hmm. Would you consider donating mm -hmm. again? If that makes sense. So. Um, And we had talked back in March mm -hmm. about getting um, stuff from Dix. So I was online trying to get into our Dix account, and that's why those emails came through <laughs> saying and that you can all disregard now. So Dix has two programs, a sponsorship or a donation. <coughs> and last time we requested a sponsorship which is requesting a larger contribution in the form of product donation or monetary assistance in the execution of our planned event, providing opportunity to benefit, and provides opportunities to benefit Dick's Sporting Goods, or a donation was to request an in-kind donation, discount coupons or prices. Are we still going with a sponsorship? So you, you got this, you went for the sponsorship, but you got 
the donation because they gave you the coupons, right? Okay. Yeah. I, I think the sponsor. <coughs> I'm not sure if the sponsorship is really us. I don't know. But they have two programs. They have one for community events and one for teams. Oh, I like it. Sports teams. Okay, so what was your community events? Kind of, what were they asking you? So, please describe why your opportunity should be considered. Camp Raleigh and Teen Camp um, offer kids and teens with Rollins or the surrounding communities places to go during the summer and have fun scheduled. Oh, uh, take one. Um, um, to have to go during the summer to be active and have fun as kids. Um, ideally, we would like to have funds and or equipment to let the children play uh, in our camps, play games like soccer, basketball, baseball, kickball, soccer, basketball, softball, kickball, and so forth. We, our schedule has mm -hmm. carved out time slots for organized sports during the last few weeks. The campers um, have been, during the last few years, um, the campers have been taking sports equipment with them on field trips to play kickball and such at our local state parks. On the grounds where our program is located, we have a soccer goal post, but no nets or balls. Assistance in gaining these items would be greatly appreciated. Financial equipment, financial and equipment donations will help our staff make the summer fun for all in the Can campus. You that that. Replace the posts. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be for the school. Because we we've talked, we really want soccer goals for that mm -hmm. soccer field, and so that's why we keep going to Dick's. And we talked about maybe getting bases for the softball field. Mm -hmm. So there are bases. There are bases that are the school bases. I don't know. We don't have access. Well, on that form that I haven't had for a while. Yeah. It has. It, is there any equipment needed? Okay. And we had talked last year, and there was a possibility that they were going to pull out the soccer nets, but then they found something on the field. So there was oh, that's right. We had bees or bees. something on the field. That happens last year. Mm. You mean in ground ones? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Wasps. Stuff. So we never got the nets from the school to use. So even if we could get portable soccer goals that could be moved down the field, down to a different part, then the kids would have something else. So that's what Dick's grant was, was asking for mm -hmm. equipment. I'm wondering, are we moving forward with this? Maybe be a little more uh, detailed of what exactly you are looking for, like nets or bas uh, soccer. soccer balls, or you know, if you give it a little more detail instead of it overall. That's why I think maybe you only got the coupons. Maybe if you just say that you know we're looking for this. And so we're looking for two soccer goals and um, oh, okay. balls Excuse me, and. Can I take this? Foosball table. <coughs> the ping pong table. Well, that's like in March we said we wanted um ping pong tables, foosball mm -hmm. tables. Mm -hmm. so. I mean, those are the things that, I mean, if you're more detailed about this is what we're looking for, they may be more apt to say, oh, we've got one in the back room, we've got one in the hotel, you know, right, and then right. there it goes. And what about, um, what's the other, was it Olympia? What, what's the other sports store? Olympia. Is it in the summer? summer. Store? I don't know. What, do they just do clothing or do they do? They have equipment. They have so equipment. Possibly, it's not, that's another option as well. Not a lot of equipment yeah, there. Games too. Yard games, yeah. 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 But I, I'm just saying, if, if you're a little more about instead of okay. generalizing, this so, is what we need. I see you go big. I see you go ping pong table, foosball table. <laughs> And soccer goals. There you go. Ask for three. Maybe we'll get one. <laughs> and, and also, possibly, when you're putting your messages out, I, what do you use? Uh, Raleigh Moms and what do you use on Facebook? Yeah, Raleigh Moms is one. Yeah. Moms. Put oh. that out there on there. Maybe there's someone who has it in their cell and they don't know what to do with it. And yeah. they may want to donate it if it's in good shape. You know? 
So you want portable soccer poles or just soccer nets? I would do portable ones so you can put them away, right? Right. Well, I don't know the size. Those net, those goals are too big for, yeah. Those, I don't think those, those are even, I don't know what. yeah, I don't even know what they are. I would do portable. Yeah. Because then you can, then it's all over. Portable regulation, regulation <laughs> size. Portable regulation size. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the portable ones they might give us is like yeah. a two by two net. Yeah. But that would allow me to put them in different okay. places. But usually those things like that will break down. Like I have a net at my house that of course you do. mine just holds flat. <laughs> yeah, flat. Yeah. Like, what do you call those? Hold it right those, down. Yeah, it holds flat. Yeah. So it has to get something to do. <laughs> do you guys want me to revise this and get it to you, and then? No, nope, just revise it. <laughs> revise it. <laughs> but it, I, I think it has to go before Let's, the select board before it goes out. Okay. Why? Because any donation that we get has to be accepted by the select board. But the select it, board or the town administrator? I was told it had by the by the town administrator. <laughs> then I guess you have to like a special account to check on that. Um, I did last year with. But this, but this but. But this is stuff. Not we're money. not we're not asked. But it, we have to be accepting of the donation before, right? 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 Does that make any sense? Okay, right. So I will check. I don't know. I'm with just, Caroline. I'll check it. Yeah. I'll, I'll take care of that. I don't know why the board of selectmen has to approve a request for donation, but it would seem, yeah, that if we get the donation, well, then they, we can say to you, hey, we got a donation of this. Is that all? You just have to be. Able, I think what our role is is just to make sure you use it for the purpose in which you asked for it. That's, I think, our purpose. Um, but yeah, I'll find out. the select board is also on the hook for any of the requirements. Not the, because they're the official town voted in people, and we're appointed by them. So we're their designees. Mm -hmm. So any requirements have to be officially accepted by. I think the that's what your ex officio does. But let me get that cleared up. So they have three. Um, three options that we can go for. So number one would be, do you want to just do the ping pong table, foosball table, and the portable soccer goals? Because yeah. last year we said <laughs> we would like a donation, a uh, financial donation was our first choice. Our sec No, our preferred package was equipment. And then we also said, if you don't want to give us equipment, we'll accept a financial donation up to $250, and if you don't want to give us that, we'll accept a gift card. Do we have to put those in order of wants, or what, is that a part of the request? They, they give you three, you can fill in three options, and you get to, and then they say pick your top priority. So well, I, I would say equipment. Yeah, equipment. I would say top. your soccer, I would go with your soccer um, net for right. now, because that I think is the most reasonable. Um, And balls, yeah, as well. Speaking of my journey, although Kelly has 500 soccer balls, <laughs> I do. So yeah. we are going. We're going to move ahead on the dicks. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Move ahead. I have a friend who wants to come in and do soccer lessons or soccer drills for the kids over the summer. He plays soccer on the side. That'd be and cool. Play it for years, like years. And he teaches. I mean, that, that's great, but if you yeah. if we have 50 kids in camp, then you're going to need a few. Well, I can see that as being one of those things where it's one of those sign-up options for the kids if you want to, there's somebody coming in. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. If you want to do not everybody would do that. that. Yeah. Arts, you could have an option on that. Uh, yeah. Arts and crafts, soccer, or. Yeah, because we kind of envisioned that happening this year, you know, with have some options where the kids sign up for whatever they want to do or yeah. go to whatever so station they want to go to. I looked at Red, so um, is it Mel or the Red Red Mel. Red's Mel yeah. for the snacks? Did you look at the snacks that they have available? But not to the flight, but that's good. Um, a lot of the snacks have nuts in them, but if we're okay, I don't know if that's a time. Where is it? What is it? I don't know. Bob's Red Mel. 
Love red milk. Yeah, it's a it's a company of Argon. It's like a flower. Um, if you go to like the, the natural or healthy food section, yeah. they've got you there. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and I believe okay. it. Yeah, like oats and flowers. And so you have to order it. In so, uh, uh, David found a donation request through oh, that, wow. and that he was going to complete. And so, oh, okay. and we were, we were talking about getting snack foods, so I peeked at what they had available for snack foods. Well, speaking of snack foods, I couldn't find that list. I went through everything that they had in a big bin of crap. Um, but I couldn't find your snack list. Okay. Because so I was, we would have to guess and maybe come up with a, a generalized. Okay. Because that's what I was going to ask for Cumberland Farms. We want to go ahead and ask them for snacks too. I think we talked about that last yeah, week. Yeah, we did. Do snacks or water yeah. or you know. They had an online one. Right? Yep. Okay. That's where I'm going to go. I sent a text to my friend who's a craft person that hasn't heard back from me yet, but I should talk to her. I will talk to her this weekend. So we can That's get a whole friends. slew of <laughs> stuff for that. And do you know, last year we got two gift cards in um, during the donation drive. One to Thirsty Moose and one to um, I don't think I got it. And one to Adele's Coffee mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Do you remember you telling us that? Did, um, I haven't done did they ever get used? Not that I'm aware of. Because the director says, what am I going to do with a thirsty moose? I'll volunteer to take that. Well, <laughs> they well maybe, that's, where are they? maybe it's in that bin of stuff that they gave me. Hey, maybe maybe the committee should be there on that. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> <Wait, wait. laughs> but I was just saying. Or maybe where's the, the chair? chair should be one that I gave you. Do you have it? Mm -hmm. that you take me I get three big bins of crap in my house. <laughs> <laughs> because the Thirsty Moose has pizza, so they could. They do. They do. They have a little Very pizza good. on Central Am. A separate entrance. Just oh. to go in and get pizza. Yeah. Forgot Maybe about that. Maybe we should the gift card before I get you one pizza. They're very expensive. Yeah, but yeah. what I, I was thinking is maybe we can raffle those off during the summer if we have them. I don't know if they're mm -hmm. good. I don't know if it's worthwhile. I think well, the committee should. I think the, the purpose was that, to, I don't know. Yeah. When you go and ask for a gift card, what do you say the purpose is for? We um, put the letter there that we had from last year. So, yeah. Adele's is a coffee house? Yeah, it's just like you buy three bucks. Yeah, you can find something for you and give you a gift card. Why not? Yeah. Well, or maybe the team can't go. Coffee. Yeah, go and have the coffee before I'll you get somewhere. There. And then we'll drive to Thirsty Moves. <laughs> <laughs> and how much were you, 25? I think they were both 25. I have to go through and find out. They're in there. They may not even be in there. And Caroline doesn't have them? She must not. I don't know. I don't think she'd have anything. We didn't want to do that to her. <laughs> well, she gets all the cash, so I didn't right. know if right. she... I know the that. ones to the grocery <coughs> stores were used. Yeah. I am... and what it was and mm -hmm. um, Supas came back as the best price. They'll give us a pizza. In 2017, they would give us pizza, a 16-inch pizza, which they could cut into 12 or 16 slices. So, so they would cut it into mm -hmm. 12 slices because they're longer or wider pizzas. 
and they would charge a, their school rate is eight dollars a pizza. So you would be getting, you would make like four dollars more per pizza for like the pepperoni than you do off of Little Caesars. Mm -hmm. And they're willing to deliver. Yeah. Oh. Here's another one, the one on Broadway. Um, I think it's Papa Jay's. Papa Jay's. Papa Jay's. Papa, Papa Jay's runs equivalent, if not a little bit more expensive, too. There um, was just a sign, too, right in front of Janko about another pizza shop that delivers to Rollinsburg. South Berwick. I that was no, I that was Dover House. That was Dover House. Not the Dover. guy is a Rollinsburg resident. It's oh. Tomatoes. Owns oh, Dover House? Yeah. It's, um, I have no idea. Me either. He went to school with my son. I can't think of his name. Uh, it's it's Raleigh's son. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, he owns Dover House Pizza. I did not know that. Yeah. Yeah. It's only been about True. six months. Oh, okay. Yeah, six months to a year. I didn't even know it was still. Tell Rowan has a pizza and don't bring us pizza same month. Oh, yeah, we should be soliciting him. You know, uh, and we should actually go solicit him because he might give you a good deal being that it's Weeksies Rollinsford. And Weeksies, the guy who owns Weeksies. Yes. I thought about that one time before and then he, I forgot to say that. He's a Rollinsford guy too? He, he's a He lives right across from Kale Rental. Yeah. Oh. And he he gave us in 2017 $50 worth of gift cards. Um, and they used them the first week, but uh, they're more expensive than. Um, but he might give you a deal that it's for the, for the rent. Yeah, so, I mean, Weeksies is always a good option. He's, and then Janato's um, has Rollins for ties to the um, Janato's Superette. Um, Did you get anything? Well, that's Ken Cooper. Yeah, because yeah. when, with the PTO, victims are kept. So, yeah, they were not. That's Ken Cooper. Their mother was a Janato's. They gave us a gift card before. They gave us a gift card. I thought they gave you water too. Water well, time. they gave me a gift card and we used it to buy, buy water. water. Oh, got it. Okay. Yep. But anyway, I would definitely talk to Weeksies and I would have to talk to Dover House. It's not the Dover House. Yeah. Is it Dover House? Dover House. Dover House. Dover House. Okay. I'm going to have to get my own. I haven't been there in a long time. I didn't either, but I found out that oh, I think it's Lewis. I think it's Lewis. He lives on Rollinsburg. Oh, oh, which one? He's, the, he's Rollins' son. So he would be like in his... Oh, <coughs> yeah. not Paul. I don't know. Paul's younger. Paul was retired. Oh, okay. I don't know. He's, he, he would be like in his 35-ish. Yeah, he's like school with day. Um, I can go into Weeksies if you want, because every Thursday my son likes to go in here for their pizza buffet at Newhead. That's kind of which by the other end. You know, know, maybe you can do a 50-50. And I mean... He's good. Like we were there one day, and he was having his lunch buffet, mm -hmm. and all he had like four pizzas out there that he was gonna throw away. Mm -hmm. And he's like, "I want to take a box of pizza home. I'll get you a box." And I had to throw it away. Yeah. So. That's I think all I had. D, you want me to forage you off of their latent information, right? The what? Uh, the the t-shirts. Yeah. Oh, yes, please. Mm -hmm. he, he's a Rollinsburg guy? I think he's a part time. I didn't recognize the name. So he just wanted more t-shirts? Yeah, he, he ordered two of them a couple of years ago. And never got them? He got them. Okay, let's But he, he sent <laughs> an email came in about, about mm -hmm. t-shirts. And he goes, I ordered some a couple of years ago, but I need some more. So, well, are you still selling them? And how much would they be? And who wears them? We wear ours all the time. I wear mine too. They're the best t-shirts. Yeah, the quality They're so really comfortable. Good. They washed really well. Uh -huh. Um, So, I guess that's... Um, t-shirt orders, they need to go in the middle of May. Thanks for saying that. I thought about that on my way out the house, but we didn't write it down. Now, did you get, would have they been a donator now? Middle of May? Um, I guess everybody's already we, seeing Jay. <laughs> we've been talking about it. It's like, 
We yeah. already have 80 t-shirts already in stock from the last couple of years. And we're talking about, well, we need to talk to CMJ because last year they, uh, there was more given than we spent. Mm -hmm. And then their money rolled into the general pot and technically that was designated. So we are reaching out to CMJ to talk to them about are they, do they want to give the complete donation to um, T-shirts again, or if they want to look at it in some other form, if that makes sense. But we're going to need, we're still going to need some new T-shirts. If they take a different yeah. size. Yeah, so don't know how many. Yeah. Right. I told you I was going to. He owes me. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get to it last weekend. He needs big sale money. He, he loaded up at the big oh, sale sure today. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was there today. It was pretty oh. funny. Some of those kids, I was like, how much money you got? Well, so I, had, I had signed up for the big sale. I was thinking, you know what I was thinking? Those poor teachers this afternoon. <laughs> These kids are going to be <laughs> so <laughs> hopped up. I almost had change on my desk because Ian, could, Ian delivers it. That's what I have to do. But he compelled change all the time, and he does not use it. And he yeah. throws it, often just on counter. Oh my and so I just pull up the photos out and I leave them in my desk and then some kid says, oh, I forgot there was a big desk. I give me his money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not even for me, you know, so I, just, I know where the money's going. Mm -hmm. yeah. There was a little sweetie there today who kept coming around with, and he, and he would show me that he needed a nickel. <laughs> and I was like, well, Kelly, if that happens again, just let him take yeah, it and then tell me. I know. I was like, that's not going to cut it, buddy. You know, that he's wow, like, oh, you're hard. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, it's a nickel. Did you see my kid? Oh, I don't know. I might, I don't know if I know your kid yeah. right away. I oh. sent a kid down with a dollar, and it was so funny. I said, can you go to the bake sale for me? And he said, I said, I don't know. Do a dollar. Two dollars? Can you need a dollar for my six? Because I got half of the money. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it 
specific room facility or facility to be used and date was needed. So I wrote playground, yeah. gym, 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 classroom, um, classroom, bathroom, and. Um, <coughs> What about, sure teachers? what about teachers? Um, well, teachers we talked about that, whether if it was kindergarten, if we got kindergarten, we didn't need a teacher. So, so I think we, should still, we should still ask, ask for it. it. I think you should ask for it or say teacher's room slash refrigerator. Well, there's a re well, we know there's a refrigerator in the kindergarten. Kinder yes. Well, it's not in the kindergarten. They move it to the kindergarten. They move it down. Right. right. They just roll it down. From the teacher's room? Yeah. But we use okay. the... So they can use it. We use, I, I think we use the lunch, take that teacher's lunch, but, well, we ton of stuff, like the storage of the snacks and a whole bunch of Back storage right. of water. I, I, think, we, I think we should ask for that. The if there's, yeah. You know, why not? So I have playground. I wrote ground. Playground. Mm -hmm. uh, gym. Classroom. Teacher's room, bathroom. Good. Next. Equipment needed. Oh, playground equipment. Um, we don't need it. We don't, that doesn't move, so we don't have to ask for that. So refrigerator. Um, we don't we use the plug companies or anything like that. Yeah. Do but we, we do have access to gym equipment, right? Basketball. So, I thought we use our own stuff. I think we use our own stuff. Yeah, you're right. going to have access to any of that. Any of it. But, um, Arts and crafts, we all use our own stuff. Yeah, that's what I thought of. But there was something you were just talking about, and I was. It wasn't the soccer goals. Soccer game. goals? <laughs> oh, no, bases. <laughs> oh, yeah, bases. What about the, um, the hose hookup? Is that considered, for, not the hose itself, but. The outdoor faucet? The faucet, yes. Yeah, I'll write that. Is that something? I would say, yeah, outdoor. let's pick it. Outdoor and then, do you bring your own uh, hose? I think we did. We did. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do we need new coats? I don't know. Possibly. Do we need new coats? I don't know. Does anybody know the condition of our, our old hose? No. Is that in the shed? It should be. I don't know. Do we have a custodian fee? Or we clean up after ourselves? Me too. Yeah, that's what we did. I don't think you've never. Who does the bathroom? Because they have, well, they do because yeah. they, they work in the summer anyway, so right. they're going to clean the bathroom. Um, service request at school employees? Yeah, none. Kitchen staff? None. Mm -hmm. Custodians? Then none. Mm -hmm. um, other, please specify. None. Okay. Um, by completing this form, the applicant, and there's the line, ex uh, ex expressly agrees to all be attached. So somebody has to sign this. That would be I think that goes to the select board, don't they? Um, right under the bus again. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> there is this whole thing on insurance. Oh, it's that would Caroline. Be, that would be, that she could that be Caroline. Yeah. Um, and addendum to application. What about movies? Do you need it? Does Wait, are we showing movies? I don't think we, we can. We no, can. I mean, I didn't think we were because And then there's more signatures little. needed. I thought, I didn't know we checked Event it out sponsors. Out the I, 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 well, I, was, I think we were trying to get sponsorship for it. Right. <laughs> well, if we, we just have to pay for, for it, it right? What is it? 300? Uh -huh. 500, I thought. No, it's only three. three, three, three 300. Three. Oh, 350. We couldn't like get it to um, the American Camp Association for three months for 300. Oh. Such a real ball. So but yeah, but, but, if, if, but what about the, um, how did we show movies? What did we use to show movies? Was because that a part of school? Because was a staff member. She had her uh, computer, so she could project from her laptop to the screen. But do we need to put a screen on there? We don't have a screen. Have a screen. It was smart work. So how did she project? Yeah. And that she is one thing smart that board. they're very cautious about having mm -hmm. any of the kids near the smart boards. That's one of the risks. Somebody was telling me about an inflatable screen yeah. uh, when the Boy Scout function. I didn't know 
this pertains to us? I, I don't know. I don't know what any of it is. Um, I, well, I can take it this is when you have, have a crime organization that's using the school. school. Mm -hmm. um, who gave you this? I don't know. Maybe can you ask him that? I don't do think you need to have it because he won't need a grant for I can ask my mom to ask yeah, yeah, that $300 for I'm not sure that you and a need that. Um, I mean, we don't have a tank insurance for one of those. Insurance 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 we're all oh, under the... Oh, yeah. that's how I... Yeah, I think it's really for someone who's not affiliated with the town. I don't know how At one time, we used to have a screen, but then you had to have a projector. Oh. So typically now it's all well, it's all streamed. Yeah. So it went to her. I think you are pretty much all set, except for okay. just check with that second thing. I don't. Who do you want to ask? Get, we can uh, send last year, you very for savings but, bank gave us. I don't think you need it. thousand dollars, and that's what we brought the Stanley with. <coughs> um, we had asked for fifteen hundred. They gave us a thousand. And you get a fourteen footer for hundred. We can ask them for another one. That's um, a deal. What? One, you get a 14-footer uh, inflatable screen for $129 is the cheapest. I'm concerned about inflatable just because flying away. Well, no, because one, one little hole and then it's done and then $149 left the hole. Oh, um, that reminds me. I've been looking at banners for, for the marketing for donations. And they range anywhere from um, five dollars or so, if you want to get a really cheap one, it's five dollars or so, up to a couple hundred dollars. The guy here in town um, that does our T-shirts will do mm -hmm. a three foot by four foot sign for seventy-five dollars. So if you can get it cheaper, I'll send you the website that I use. That Family Day. Um, I can't think of the name of it now, um, but I'll send you. I, I can. We were going to search for a PTO. See if that screen still existed. Because we used to have one. She could get the license before you even have to worry about what? the screen. It was just thrown out to me that we write a grant for it. Um, the Staples takes about a week to send there, which is anywhere from 30 to 50. Oh, the new one? Yeah, the one that I had, was, it, it was about a week. I can't think of the name of it. And there was another one I was looking at that was, it was like really good quality. For Inspire or something? I'm not that looking at Or Inspire. Um, I'll send it to you. So, we had decided back in... March, that you we went we came up with a list. Now you're changing my list now. And this is what we want to grant for. Yes. I thought we talked about the three million dollar movie thing for a grant book. We did. We did. Okay. You didn't uh, get it. it we didn't. didn't give it to you. We didn't. Well, no, we took it out of the Aria. Yeah. But yeah. we talked about it at the same time. About, um, I think for REF next year, I just, I'm throwing this out here because it's a part of my head. Would because you guys do grants up to a thousand, right? Mm -hmm. So I was thinking maybe we take everybody off site to like a play. Like mm -hmm. isn't that what you like? That's what you guys. Garrison plays may do that for you. Say that again. Garrison plays may do that for you. Yeah. Like a performance or something. But what is that? I mean, that's, that that's so, an art. Right. Mm -hmm. So that sounds to me like something we should really. Yeah, the kids go up to like the Rochester Opera House, right? Or or the show. Opera House. Well, what about the Hack Attack too? Hack yep. Attack does some. You of just things. have to make sure it's age appropriate cause for some of the because you have some young ones too, you know, mm -hmm. or or maybe themed of it, or right. you know, um, the but busing because that, that would be, definitely like, we, and could we include busing with that to take people right. off site? Depends how much it's going to be. Right, because right. we have yeah. tickets. And yeah, yeah, and, how, and if you have sixty kids going, then mm -hmm. that's going to be way out of. Right. But what about like going right, that would be sixty stuff. kids at ten bucks a pop, I can't imagine they charge more than ten dollars a ticket. So it's six hundred dollars. Right? Know. And then what you about? get two fifty a bus. So we're still under a thousand. Mm -hmm. That's my vote for next year. 
We'll get on that. January. <laughs> Wait, what's the deadline? We miss it every year. The end of February. <laughs> <laughs> we'll it um, but what about the Prescott Park Arts Festival? They put on a play every summer. It's only mm-hmm. nighttime. Yeah, it's only at nighttime. Yeah, we gotta find something. Is it only nighttime? Don't yeah, it's it's like children's a programs weekend. during the week? Uh, no? I don't think so either. I thought they, they did one during the day. Okay, here you go. It was on the 17th. So, for grants, Dick's soccer goals, air hockey table, ping pong, and foosball tables. So, do we want to cross the <laughs> air hockey table off, or do you want to keep the air hockey table? Yeah, we can. I mean, it's kind of the same thing. And then we had decided at that meeting we wanted grants for wildlife shows. Um, Chris. Oh, yeah, the biker guy. The biker guy. Yeah. Uh, art workshops, doodle bugs, paint for fun, and artists from the mills. And you want me to add the movie license. Well, doodle bugs isn't here anymore, right? Yeah, did they leave here? I know they're in Maine, but did they leave here too? Oh, really? They left? I don't know. Well, they just opened up a new place in Maine. So, oh. Yeah, I think it's Savvy World Paintings. I didn't see it. I always thought it was a grand opening, but I didn't know if they closed here. Where? Where in South Burr? In South Burr? Right in town. That's all I know. Huh. Mm-hmm. Um, I do know that she had been having problems with her landlord and rent and making it because it is so quiet down there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So from from, from like January or February through to Mother's Day, there's no traffic, mm-hmm. and then you have a couple weeks of traffic while schools in session, mm-hmm. and then once the summer starts, everybody mm-hmm. nobody goes down there again mm-hmm. until Christmas time. Mm-hmm. So she was just not getting the business mm-hmm. to support that location. No, mm-hmm. that's too bad. So she was looking, and I do know that she was in negotiations to move into a location in Berwick. Um, the Berwick or South Berwick? I don't know. I thought it was South Berwick. It could so be Berwick. She was going to be out in front of oh. Noble High School. No, I think it is Berwick. Is that School Street? Yes, that probably would I be. I think it might be Berwick. Yeah. She was talking about getting a location in well, Berwick. She bad. actually lives in Berwick, oh. and her um, husband works for a um, person that owns a lot of property in that area. So he, they were able to give her a reduced rent, and yeah. she could get things up and going. So probably. And I thought you had um, some contact in the mill, um, a cheese making uh, well, guy, yeah, home grown meat. and then we can maybe we can get them. To come down because he said um, Branmore would give you the yep. supplies. They are on that list for team team oh, camp. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they're doing that for team camp. I think. Okay. Yeah, Berwick. Yeah. Berwick. Okay. Is it School Street? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that's I think we need to add the movie fee in there for our grant. Movie licenses, yeah. yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. Now, I asked Caroline, and she didn't have, is there any way that we can have it through, like, the town of Rollinsburg so any organization can use it, not just rec? Then it would be more. Because you'd want it more than just the summer. So you're getting a reduced rate because it's the summer. Because you're only going for three months. Okay. Right? The town can purchase one. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think you were out at the time I brought it forth to the select board, and Mike looked at it, and because I had put in there that we could do it with, like, Salmon Falls Fog Day or something, yeah. do a fundraiser, or do, like, mm-hmm. you said at the fire department or whatever, but there was a caveat on there that if you can't can charge admission. N- no, it says you can't charge admission, so we discussed that at one of our meetings that you weren't here, yeah. is camp charging admission since they're paying to be at camp. They're paying to be at our facility, yeah. or is that not charging admission? No, that would no. I yeah. think it's like the event is charging admission, so I don't and, think that is. And then the other thing that we discussed was the um, Mike picked up in the information that it says it has to be at the facility in which the program is located. So we couldn't take it from the school and take it to the fire department to have like Salmon Falls Family Foundation or movie in coordination with us, even though you're part of the rec, it would have to be shown at the school. 
because that's where the summer rec is at. But I wonder if you could list several, right, uh, several as locations as a town, you know, under the umbrella of the town of Rollinsford. I mean, we would be here, library. we would be there, the library, yeah. you know, because it's all, everything is under the budget of the town of Rollins. You'd have to stay within the budget, and the library's there, and right. um, you guys are there, we're there. Town. Yeah, I don't know. And I'll look into that a little more. Just I, I still have the paperwork. I looked at it a little bit, but um, but it, it would it would have to be a whole year though, because then right. you yeah. know, um, so that you can start making some. But you can't charge admission, but you can sell concessions. Right. So you could have it as a fundraiser. Right. You know, by doing it that right. way. So yeah. Um, and then the other thing that was pointed out to me by the select board, he said, it only covers odd, it only covers visual presentations. It's not like you can go turn on the radio and have a dance party. Or you can turn on the radio because that's publicly broadcast, but you couldn't play like a CD or sound um, like if, that you've bought for your personal use or play off of your iTunes because then you're infringing upon the audio copyright. I'm not going to worry about that, that too much. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't do that? <laughs> right. I mean, well, I know last year they used Pandora, which is a free program. I mean, you can pay for Pandora yeah. to be specific, but otherwise Pandora is just a So they app. have the same rights as the movie does with the uh, uh, royalties? They do? Well, music does individually, but I don't know, like, if you use something like Pandora, if Pandora's paying for that because it is just a, you're not paying to use Pandora. But you're you're using it for your own personal use. Once you start broadcasting right. it to a larger group, it becomes an issue. Um, then you're infringing upon the copyright once you, it's beyond your personal use, which would be you and your family. Yeah, but then that's, that means that you couldn't use any of your Bluetooth speakers anywhere. I mean, that's ridiculous. Right? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> like, what's the point of Bluetooth speakers? If you're not going to broadcast to... Like, if you're having a barbecue at right. your house, you can put out a barbecue... You could put out your Bluetooth speaker and right. play on the Bluetooth speaker because it's your friends and family. But, like, my daughter took her Bluetooth speaker with the softball team, and they all... But hung out we're an organization that I makes us more viable. I don't know. I think we're getting a little too a little off the field. <laughs> so I can I can let's not worry about audio. Let's do <laughs> So you want me to ask dance party. I can do Newberry oh, last year we did Eastern Savings Bank. Eastern um <coughs> we did there's about a hundred banks now in Dover. So yeah. <laughs> we did Newberry Port, which Very actually came each other. Which actually came through for us, and that was the one that came through. And Caroline did caution us not to repeat, uh, asking for the same thing year after year to ask for something different. Hey, Bunkport was on your list. Did you mention that? I, I, we did not apply to them last okay. year, mm -hmm. but we can. Um, what about the Citizen Bank? That's in Rollinsford. They're Dover, but they're right not down. anymore. <laughs> not a functional bank anymore. Oh, it's not. No, they're a, uh, a uh, advisory bank. Did they no. go many times? No, they're trying to get the... Or what are they trying to do? They're Ooh. trying... A citizen bank in, Do in Rollinsford. In Rollinsford. They're an advisory bank where they're trying to get you to... Um, it's like for rich people. It for rich people. Investments and uh, stuff like that, yeah. Really? You can't, you can't go in there and do banking anymore. Wow. Why they only have an ATM outside. They don't have a... They don't do any. Wow. You have to go to Plymouth or Dover. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they did call for help one year for the one that actually got straight through the whole thing. Well, I don't know that one. I will send them an email with that and with their presentation and their foundation. That's all about. You can give us some money. <laughs> do this and that with it. Well, about done, myself. How about, where are we? Uh, I'm was, fading, fading fast. Well, we need to set our next meeting. <laughs> set our next meeting, and that's it. All right. So we have baseball.
Netflix series anyway. It's kind of building. So <laughs> I had six games so this week. Do we want to go two lacrosse games yes. really? and um, <laughs> no rugby? No rugby. My kids don't do rugby. Only because she hasn't found a rugby game for them to play. There is <laughs> rugby in Dover. Yeah, they do a whole thing with rugby in Dover now. So do you want to go two weeks? Which puts us on what day? Uh, that puts us the week of the 6th. Um, two weeks is the night, but I can't do it the night. That's a Thursday. Thursday. Kathy can't. Jake. Wednesday, Thursday. Kathy can't, right? I could do Tuesday the 7th. Can anybody else? Oh, uh, yep, I can. Yeah. yeah. I think. Oh, my God, really? <laughs> well, my baseball. Oh, that's my, pretty oh, good. Oh, my Cub Scout meeting had to be moved. Oh. Because they're all playing baseball. Uh, their games are okay. Saturday, Tuesday, Thursdays, uh, <laughs> or practices. So they either have a game or a practice on Tuesday, Thursday. So we had to move all of our meetings for Cub Scouts mm -hmm. to uh, Monday nights. So Chris has a game, but Doug would probably be able to take him without. So that would that would work. So six on Tuesday and the seventh. Mm -hmm. Oh.